Hey guys, it's Katie. Thanks for stopping by my channel and welcome back to Cookie Week. I'm going to be posting a new cookie recipe video on my channel every day this week. So hopefully you'll subscribe and join in on the fun. Today I'm going to make sprinkle cookies and these are really fun and easy and it's just a sugar cookie uh, with a lot of sprinkles on them. Really caked with sprinkles and it really makes them a lot of fun. So you can use your favorite sugar cookie recipe. I'm using one from the King Arthur's Cookie Companion. I checked this book out from the library and I really like it. It has a lot of really classic um, recipes with a lot of variations. So I am using the Essential Chewy Sugar Cookie. They also have the Essential Crunchy Sugar Cookie and the es Essential Crisp Sugar Cookie. And they have that for the peanut butter cookies, the oatmeal cookies, and the chocolate chip cookies. It's just all of the different variations so you can really dial in what you like best about each cookie. And it gives you all of the variations to make things different, flavor profiles. And yeah, I really like learning to cook and bake in that way is kind of learning a basic recipe and then how to adjust it so you can have infinite possibilities once you understand the whole logic behind changing things. So I highly recommend this book. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, but for now, we'll just get started mixing up some cookie dough. Okay, so we're going to start with the stand mixer. I'm going to put some dairy-free margarine or you could use butter if you want, but, but I'm using the dairy-free margarine to fit my needs. And this recipe calls for white granulated sugar as well as brown sugar. And it calls for light corn syrup. I don't usually keep that on hand. I use honey. Anytime a recipe calls for corn syrup, I use honey. It has a lot of the similar properties and it works similarly in everything that I've ever used it in. I will use that instead. The recipe says to put pretty much everything but the flour in and beat it, but I'm gonna do the sugars and the butter first and let that cream first. Next, I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. It says nutmeg or lemon oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the dry ingredients for now. And vanilla, I'm gonna add to the butter and the sugar. This is my homemade Vanilla. Okay, so I'm gonna sift my baking powder and my baking soda. And every time I share on a video that I do this, I get a lot of comments from people saying that they've never had a problem and they don't find it necessary. And I'm telling you, I have baked for decades before I had my first problem. And it just took one time. <laughs> and that's all it took. So you don't have to do this step, but I will never not sift my baking powder again. Cause when you get a chunk of unmixed up baking powder in your final product, it is not good. It's not a good feeling to have somebody say, what is in this? What is that metallic? medicine taste, you know, when you're trying to serve them banana bread or something. So I always sift now. And that was baking powder and baking soda. Salt. Let me get that through there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just put my flour in here and then I'll just add it to the creamed mixture. I got the world's smallest strainer because I thought I was just doing the leavening, but We'll go ahead and do the flour too. Okay, and before I forget, I'll go ahead and add the egg. And then I think we have everything situated. So I'm gonna get that egg incorporated and then I'll put the dry ingredients in. Okay. Go ahead and add the dry ingredients. Start that on slow. It's looking like it's coming together pretty good. Just do one scrape down. It's pretty good. The recipe doesn't even say it needs to be chilled. I don't think it would hurt to chill it. It is a little soft. I find that um, with the vegan margarine, 
everything seems just a little bit softer so I might put mine in the fridge um, but I'll show you how I do that to make it a quick chill all right so I cookie scoop it onto the tray and even if it needs to chill then it chills a lot faster when you have more surface area because they're already in the little balls and this is also nice because I can take it and put this tray right in the freezer and then freeze these balls. And I really love having frozen dough balls. I can just throw them on a cookie sheet. And some recipes you can just bake straight from frozen. A lot of recipes you can, especially drop cookies. Um, otherwise, just let it thaw on the cookie sheet. And again, because they're so small, they thaw pretty quickly. And then you just bake them as if it was freshly mixed up. So these are obviously much more crowded than I would bake them, but this is just to get them all in the refrigerator at once. All right, these have only been chilling for about 10 minutes, but that's the, that's the beauty of them being all small as they chill pretty fast. And so I'm just gonna roll these. I'm gonna roll them into balls and I'm gonna roll them in sprinkles. And I have a variety of sprinkles. You can use these kind of like Jimmy's sprinkles or the little non perel These ones are good. They make a nice crunchy cookie, a crunchy coating on the outside. Um, and then I also have some colored sugar. Uh, I have not tried the shaped sprinkles. I know they come in all different shapes. I might try that as well. So I'll, I'll do a few of each so you can see what they look like. And of course you can use any color combination to match whatever holiday or event or your favorite color or whatever. So I guess I'll just start with the first one here. And I'm just going to pour some, whoops, or a lot in a bowl. Take one of my dough balls, just giving it a light roll. And then I'm going to stick it right in the sprinkles. Press it down right in the sprinkles because you want to flatten them a little bit. And what happens if you roll them in the sprinkles and then flatten them, then there's some bare, bare patches. So if you press them into the sprinkles, then as it spreads out, you get more sprinkles overall. So super sprinkly, looks like that. And then set it on your cookie sheet. I'm using parchment paper. Um, I use the reusable sill pads a lot, but different sprinkles, sometimes they stain. So if that's a concern of yours, you'll want to use something a little bit more disposable. Okay, so next one I got these Christmassy uh, non -pareils. I think these are my favorite with how the the texture on the outside of the cookie is just chef's kiss. Perfect. Okay, so that's how that looks like. Honestly, coat them as much as you can. Just take it really on there. Okay, so next up is just colored sugar. Okay, the last one I'm gonna use these shaped sprinkles. They have a little bit of a different texture than the other ones. And I know they come in, you know, different um, shapes for the different seasons or themes. This is just what I have on hand. So this is going to be an experiment for me. I've never used these shaped ones. Alright. And 
The rest of these dough balls I'm gonna freeze just like this. Then I'll transfer them to a zipper bag and then whenever I wanna make more cookies, I can just pull out a few, let them thaw, and then I can choose the toppings that I want at that time. So I'll go ahead and get these in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Ooh, how pretty. All right, there we go. That's what it looks like finished. And I think all the variations look perfect. Um, the shapes, sprinkles, the sugar, the non pearls, and the regular sprinkles. I think any anything you want, you could try. And I had trouble deciding which one I wanted to taste test, but we're gonna try this one. And we'll see. Oh yeah, that's a chewy cookie. Not crisp. A little crisp on the edges. See the inside. We'll give it a taste. Mmm. 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 Perfect. Yeah, if you're just looking for a sugar cookie recipe, this is a good recipe. And with the sprinkles, it's just even better. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can give my video a thumbs up. I think I have sprinkles on there still. Um, and if you want to try this recipe, I'd love to know what you think of it, how it turned out for you. You can leave me comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!